Hey everybody, welcome to Franny Square. Today we're going to be making a very easy boho style bell. So as is often the case, this belt was born out of necessity. I'm going to my sister's house for lunch today and I wanted to wear this blouse. As you can see, it's longer. I didn't want to tuck all of that in. It gets bunched up and it doesn't look good. And if I just let it hang out, it's not really stylish and doesn't have a lot of shape. So I thought it would be great to make a quick and easy belt. And I love the boho style. So that's when I came up with the design for this belt. When I was figuring out which yarn to use for this belt, I knew the look that I wanted, kind of like a macrame kind of look. And I was talking to Misty Dawn. Many of you know her from our show and tell, which is now called Crochet and Tell. And she's submitted many projects and she's very talented. So I was speaking with her and I was saying, what type of yarn do you think would be good for this project? because I didn't want something that would uh, stretch too much or pill too much. And she suggested getting a mercerized cotton. And she also said Hobby Lobby right now was having 30% off of their yarns. So of course I ran out to Hobby Lobby and I picked out a mercerized cotton yarn and I think I got the perfect one. And you'll see in the tutorial which yarn I used but I think it came out exactly the way I wanted it to come out. So that's awesome. And I'll also be doing a review on the yarn later this week. And what I'm gonna to try to do going forward is as I do tutorials and use different yarns, I will be doing flash reviews of those yarns that same week. So you'll get to see what I thought of working with that yarn. Okay, so let's get started with the belt. Okay, so for this project, I used Yarn Bees Fundamental Cotton in Camel. It is 100% mercerized cotton, has a really nice twist and a stiffer feel to it, which is what I was looking for. I wanted that macrame kind of feel to the project. Aside from that, I used a five millimeter hook from Pony and a yarn needle. All right, so let's get started. Uh, by the way, I'll show you how much I have left after the project. I still have this much left. So I'm gonna continue with this skein for the belt. And um, I have an idea for what I wanna do with the other skein. So we'll see how that works out. If it works out, you will see it as a tutorial. <laughs> All right, so let's start with a slip knot. And then we're going to chain eight. This is a very simple pattern, perfect for a beginner. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay. Now we're going to go into the second chain from the hook, and we're just going to do a single crochet. And we're gonna do that all the way down in each chain. So a single crochet, just put your hook into the loop, pull up a loop, and pull through both. Put your hook into the chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, and pull through both. There you go, just continue that all the way down and you'll end with seven stitches. Okay, so you should have seven stitches, just count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. Chain one and turn. And we're going to go back into the first stitch and again, single crochet all the way across and you will still have seven stitches. At the end of every single row, you're going to have seven stitches. 
So you can always check your work. I love these small projects. Sit in front of the TV, get it done by the end of the movie. And when you have less stitches, it's easier to keep count. Okay, should still have seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. And we're going to do the same thing. Chain one, turn, do single crochets across. This is row number three of single crochets. We're going to end up doing four rows of single crochets. Okay, so now we have four rows of single crochets. The next thing we're going to do is chain four, two, three, four. Turn your work and you're going to skip the next stitch and in the third stitch you're going to do a double crochet. Okay. So this first chain four counts as a double crochet plus a chain. Now we're going to chain one, skip a stitch and in the next stitch we're going to double crochet And chain one, skip the next stitch, and in the last, we're going to double crochet. Okay, and that's our mesh panel right there. You see that? Now we're going to chain one, turn our work, and now we're going to put seven single crochets across. This will be our first single crochet row. So in this first stitch right here, I'm going to do a single crochet. That's one. Then in the chain one space, I'm going to do a single crochet. Then in this next stitch here, a single crochet. This is our third. In the chain one space, a single crochet. In the next stitch, a single crochet. In the chain one space, a single crochet. And now remember, we chained th four in the beginning. So the first three was our double crochet and the fourth one was our chain one space. So we're just gonna put our hook into the third, one, two, three, chain there. That's a can be a little bit tough. Get it in there. And single crochet. And now we should be back to seven single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. We're going to chain one and do three more rows of seven single crochets. And this is going to be our pattern. Four rows of single crochet and then one mesh panel row. And it's that simple. This yarn is so easy to work with for this type of project. There's no splitting. And you can see your stitches very clearly makes for a great beginner project. Okay, chain and turn. I'm going to do one more row of single crochets. Okay, now we're going to do our mesh panel. So we're going to chain four, one, two, three. That's my double crochet and chain one for the chain one space. Then I'm going to skip a chain. This counts as my first double crochet and chain one. So I'm going to go to the third, one, two, three, stitch, and I'm going to do a double crochet in that. Chain one, skip the next stitch, double crochet in the next. Chain one, skip the next one and double crochet in the last. And then chain one to turn and begin our single crochets again. And you can see there's another mesh panel. So just to review how to go your single how to do your single crochets across here, we're going to 
go into the first stitch, put a single crochet, a single crochet into the chain one space, a single crochet into the next stitch, a single crochet into the chain one space, and continue that down. You should have seven stitches. Remember when you get to your last one, that's the chain one space and the first three chains were my double crochet. So I am going to do my single crochet into that third chain there. And chain one and turn. That was my first row of single crochets. I'll do three more. So that's your pattern, four rows of single crochets, then your mesh panel. And you're gonna make that as long as you want your belt to be. Keep in mind that you started with four single crochet rows. So you'll wanna end with that to keep it nice and balanced looking. So when you're deciding on how long to make your belt, you wanna take into account that it stretches, especially with the mesh panels. So what I did was I just put the belt around me until it came to about there and I had this much space left because I'm gonna add my strings and when I pull it, I don't want the actual crocheted part to cross over itself. So leave yourself some space there. Make it about that length and then we'll attach the strings. So on this piece here, I just did a few rows, but I want to show you the next step. So I've finished the fourth row of single crochet here. And now what I'm going to do is I finished in that last stitch. I'm going to do another single crochet in that stitch to turn the corner. And then I'm going to single crochet along in the openings here. I don't go into this stitch that's part of this double crochet. Instead, I do two single crochets under that double crochet. And then again, I don't go into this stitch here. I'm gonna go into the three middle ones. One, two, three, right there. So single crochet here, if that makes sense. Here and here. Again, I don't go into that. I go under the double crochet twice. And continue around doing that. Now, when I get to the corner piece or the last stitch on this side, which is this one here, I do another single crochet to turn the corner and then I just continue along. Now you have single crochets on this side so that's easy. You go into each single crochet once and do a single crochet. Then when I get to the last one here I'm going to do two because I'm turning the corner and you can see I'm laying the tail that was here down. And I'm just going to continue and work over it. Whenever I can work over a tail, I do it. <laughs> the less to sew in, the better. Okay, and now I'm going to do two underneath my double crochet. One, two. this tail down and then I'll continue. I'm going to do that all the way around. I'm going to have to cut that little guy off, I have a feeling. There we go. And then two under the double crochet. And you can see, it just makes it look more finished along the edge. And then I'll fasten off and leave in my end. And next we're gonna attach the strings. 
Okay, so what I did was I cut seven pieces of yarn, 30 inches long each for my strings for each side. So you're gonna need 14 total strings, 30 inches long is what I used. You can use whatever you like. And all I do is I fold the string in half. Make sure it's even at the bottom, like that. And I have this loop at the top. And then in my belt, I don't go into the very top row, I go down to this row. And all I do is I put my hook in, grab that loop, pull it up, then I yarn over with both ends and pull it through that loop, just like that. The way you would do fringes, basically, on something. And there's my string for there. Then I'll take the next one, same thing, fold it in half so that the ends are the same. And I'll go into the next stitch right here, put my hook in, grab my yarn, pull up a loop, take both ends, pull it through, just like that. And I'm gonna do all seven stitches, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it'll look like this. I already have the other side done. You can see that there. And then your belt is complete. You can put it on and tie it. Now, once you tie it, you may see that they're a little bit uneven, your strings at the end. See that, just like that. No matter how hard I try, they're not exactly even. I just snip them and make them even. Okay, so here's the finished bell, and you can see the single crochets around the edge. I consider that the right side of the bell. The wrong side, you don't see the single crochets. And then to put it on, I just wrap it around my waist. Hopefully you can see here. Hopefully I'm standing far enough back. And I knot it, and I make sure the knot is in the center between the two sides. Just kind of hold it there and then knot again, just like that. There you go. You can blouse your top over top, just like that. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. If you're making this belt, I'd love for you to send pictures for crochet and tail. You can send them to my email address at frannysquare at gmail.com. And if you made it your own in any way, please let me know that in the description so I can share that with everybody else. I love to learn from all of you and get inspiration from all of you. As always, thank you so much for joining me. I truly appreciate it. Remember to make it your own and I'll see you soon.